Life is all about balance, right? Well, the same goes for the DJI Ronin S gimbal, because if it isn't properly balanced, you won't get the best results and you can even damage the motor. No bueno. So I'm gonna show you some of the best tricks and how to balance this wonderful machine. But before I get into it, remember, come visit us here at the Digital Goja Showroom in Miami. And don't forget, we post new content weekly, so subscribe to our channel and tap the bell icon to get notified about our latest videos. The Ronin S is a really cool gimbal that stabilizes your camera. And if you've never used one before, you're gonna love it. It almost feels like magic. And you can be twisting and turning and walking around and your camera just seems to float there unaffected. With all the movement, your footage will still be super smooth. But you have to make sure that it's properly balanced in order to get the best results. So let me show you how you can do that. First, you're gonna build the Ronin S. Slide in the battery and lock it using the lever. Next, screw in the tripod foot. Open up the feet and stand the Ronin S up. Now you're gonna mount the camera. So you're gonna to have to put on the mounting plate with the arrow facing forward toward the camera lens. Tighten the screw and make sure it's secure using a flathead screwdriver. Now that the mounting plate is secured to the bottom of the camera, you're ready to balance the camera on the Ronin S. There are three parts to balance. You have the tilt axis, the roll axis, and the pan axis. Balancing the tilt axis, slide in the mounting plate onto the Ronin S. Hold onto the roll motor and move the camera back and forth until it's level. Once it's level, tighten the locking lever. Make vertical adjustments to the tilt axis. Loosen the lever. Tilt the camera so it's facing up. And move the axis forward or backward until the camera is level. Once it's level, tighten the screw. Now you're ready to test the balance by tilting the camera up or down and it should stay in place. To balance the roll motor, loosen the screw, move the axis left or right until the camera is level. Once it's level, tighten the screw. Now we can move on to balancing the pan axis. To balance the pan axis, tilt the gimbal forward at a slight angle, rotate the camera 45 degrees, and the roll motor should remain still. Move the axis forward or backwards until the pan remains still. Now, as you can see, our Ronin S is balanced. As you can see, it locks it in place. If it's not, you'll notice that the roll motor moves back and forth when you set it in place. Now we're ready to turn on the gimbal, but first you're gonna to wanna to make sure that the camera is balanced on the gimbal. If not, you risk burning out the motors. So to turn on the gimbal, press and hold the power button on the battery. Uh, the lights will stay solid once it's on. Next, on the opposite side, you're gonna press and hold the power button on the gimbal. Once the gimbal powers on, you're gonna hear an audible noise and the camera's gonna level out. Once it's on, you're gonna to wanna to test the balance using the Ronin app on your phone. Now you're gonna make sure your Ronin is paired with your app through the Bluetooth and tap the balance test button in the app. Your Ronin will test the balance of the tilt axis, roll motor and pan axis by whipping your camera around.
Once you've completed the test in the app, it will give you the results and tell you how well balanced it is on each of the axes. It will show you good, excellent, or needs to be rebalanced. If you need to rebalance it, make sure to turn the run -in off before making any adjustments. When it passes the balance test, you're good to go. So you're gonna to wanna to constantly rebalance the Ronin S if you're gonna remove and reattach your camera. Now, here are some best practices to help speed up the process. If you're gonna be constantly using the Ronin S with the same camera and lens combination, it's a good idea to write down the measurements of the tilt, roll, and pan so that you don't have to guess and fumble around each time you wanna use the gimbal. You can just lock them in at the right measurements and get to shooting. If you like this video, remember hit the thumbs up button below, subscribe to our channel and tap the bell icon. And if you're in the Miami area, come visit us here at the Digital Go to Sherm. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next video.